Hi guys, um, I want to show you very quickly to um, how you could make this timeline with milestone chart in Excel. Now, by default, Excel does not actually have a timeline chart inbuilt. But there's a way around it. What you could do is you could take column chart, do some kind of formatting on it, and you could create this nice little beauty. So timeline could be used in your project management. It could be used for anything. Like here, I have, I'm doing an online course, and I have actually... Um, Taken various uh, structure of the, I have taken the structure of the course and actually divided that into various steps over here. So I've um, also uh, put a timeline over here of months. You could actually put dates over here as well as weeks and months, years, whatever you want to. So just be mindful that this has to be in chronological order. Yeah. So you've got your timeline. You've got your items. It could be your events. It could be your tasks. It could be anything. And here I've got the height. Now the height is basically where you see all of these uh, lines over here. The height is going to um, determine the height of these lines. Where you see uh, positive and negative, that's basically showing the direction of those lines. Positive values are above the timeline and negative values are below the timeline. Now, I have them all randomized over here because I didn't want all of this to be congested and cluttered so that's the reason why I've got like you know random values over here okay so let's just get started um, I'm gonna first of all let me just delete this all right now um, first step choose your time whatever it is dates months weeks whatever and choose your height let's just go to insert go to charts and in the charts I'm going to choose 2d clustered columns all right, I've got it. Now I'm going to increase the width just by adjusting the corners. Okay. Now I want to have uh, data labels over here on top of the um, columns, and that should be all these um, labels over here. So let's just go to chart elements, data labels, and go to more options. Now I'm going to uncheck the value option and I'm going to choose value from the cells and it's asking me for a range and here is my range. Alright, let's click OK. There you go. Now I'm going to choose uh, these series by selecting on them. So by clicking you select all the series. I'm going to go to format and I'm going to go to shape fill and I'm going to say I need no fill. Then I'm going to go back to my charts element chart elements and I'm going to go to error bars let's just go to more options and here where you see vertical error bar I'm going to choose direction as minus I'm going to choose end style as no cap and error amount as percentage and set it up to 100% there you go <coughs> now I want to format my timeline I want to have it as a bold color so I'm going to come to, uh, I'm going to select the series by, so here, I'm going to select it by clicking on it. I'm going to come to format. There's a shape outline option. Click on that. Choose any color. I'm going to go for purple. All right. And now I want the line to be really bold. So I'm going to go to weight and I'm going to choose three points. And I want it to be like an arrow. So in the arrows, I'm going to choose arrow style number five and there you have it now you see there are these small tiny tiny dots appearing on this line I don't really like that right click format axis and in the axis options um, if you go below so this these are the axis options if you go below there's an option of tick marks and it shows you major type outside I don't need this I want it to be none so it takes care of that I want these error bars to be the same color as the, um, wait, hold on, these, I want them to be the, of the same color, so let's just do shape outline as purple, so now it's purple, alright, now I don't like these grid lines and I don't like this um, axis over here, so I'm going to choose again the chart options and axis where it says uh, primary vertical, I'm going to uncheck that and I'm going to uncheck the grid lines as well. Alright, looking good. And the last thing I'm going to do 
is change the chart title to timeline with milestones and I'm gonna change the color as purple just to match with the overall lines and make it bold there you have it <coughs> drag it even a little bit more all right uh, one last thing I want to show you these numbers over here if you're actually wondering how to come up with uh, the numbers over here um, so one thing which I have done is I've actually set the start and end at, at uh, 1 so I want them to be of the same height rest all rest all the values I want them to be um, of various heights and direction right so I'm going to choose all of these I'm going to choose a choose a range I'm going to come here in the formula bar and type rand between rand between tab and okay so what rand between does is that when you assign a bottom and a top value it's randomly going to give you a number between the top and the bottom all right so I'm going to say bottom to be minus six and the top to be six close brackets now because I have selected various cells over here and I want this formula to be applied on all of those cells not just the first cell right I'm going to choose control and enter so you see what has it done it's actually applied it on all that all the cells I selected it, it has applied the formula on them now what happens is because it's a random function which I have applied right so random will do the calculations all again if you do anything on your Excel right and I don't want that to happen I want this to I want all these values to remain constant I'm going to select them control C copy and paste them as values so there you have it see I did something <laughs> so it has again like run between function has changed all these values so June and July let me just change that very quickly make it to four so it doesn't actually overlap and where is this November and December it has set to minus three so I'm going to make this as minus four all right so well there you have it that's how you can actually make a timeline with milestones on Excel leave comments down below how are you going to use this chart type in your next project or in your workflow Alright, until next time, much love, God bless, bye!